everyone, welcome to And Then There Was Friday. My name is Tersin Buckner and this is my weekly vlog. Today I wanted to talk about 80-20. What is 80-20? Okay, so 80-20 is the rule that I apply when I'm trying to make decisions or when I'm trying to decide if something works for me, what I can bear, what I shouldn't bear, what I should let go of and what I should hold on to. I have to be very honest, I don't remember how I got this 80-20 rule, but I've seen it a couple of times. One of my friends once said that when he, you know, in making his decision as to who he was going to be with permanently, he realized that he's never going to find someone perfect. And so for him is, is he going to continue chasing the 20% that his partner does not have? Or is he going to appreciate the 80% that she has? And that sort of helped him in making his decision. I thought it was interesting then. I didn't apply it immediately because you know how it is with things. You hear it and you're like, hmm, sounds good, sounds good. But then it takes you a while to get to it. So sometimes the things we do will bring us headaches. That's the truth, you know. You're never going to get to a point where everything is perfect and you know you, you, you're making everything work, your life is perfect, there's always lights, your fridge is always cold, you always have food when you need it things are good for you. No, like everything you do always has a drawback that it comes with. Let's be very honest. For example, let's say you're praying to be taller because <laughs> you're short and then you do get taller by some, I don't know, magic of things. You might find out that tall people actually have issues too and then you'll be like, oh wait, well I like being tall but I wish you know it didn't come with these problems as well. Or let's even take it more seriously. Let's say you, you keep on praying for a job. You're like, God, I want a job. I want a job. I want this kind of job. I want this kind of job. And then you get that kind of job. And then you realize the headaches that it comes with because maybe you got your dream job, but now you have to wake up extra early to go for your job. Or maybe you got your dream job, but now you don't always see your friends as much as you wish you could. And so everything that we do and every step that we take comes with a sacrifice that we must make. And so the question is, how do you decide and how do you pick the ones that are worth it and the ones that you should walk away from? And that's where the 80-20 comes in. Because for me, if the things I love about this situation I'm in far outweigh the things I loathe about it, then I'm staying. But if the things I loathe are about the same or they outweigh it, then I'm going. And so obviously life is not mathematics. Sometimes it helps to draw a line and say, okay, pros and cons, what are the things I like? Let's say a job, for example, what are the things I like about this job? What are the things I don't like? Let's say a relationship, what are the things I like about this relationship? Friendship, food. I should do 80-20 when it comes to my favorite drink. Maybe I'll actually quit it, but I'll probably cheat and make sure that it has more things I love than things I hate. But anyways, I hope the 80-20 rule helps you. And why don't you send me a message, leave a comment, and tell me perhaps what it is you're trying, you're going through now that you the 80-20 rule might help you. Remember, whatever you forget, always remember this. If it does more for you than it hurts you, then you always have to wait. Which one is better? Which one do you get the most out of? Huh? Perhaps you have to wake up an hour early. Is that really the worst thing you could do? Especially if it's your dream job? Let's think about it. My name is Tessin Bruckner, and then there was Friday.